Hi there, this is Srikanth Asare. So, in this lesson, we are going to uh, learn how to uh, program a stack data structure in C. Okay. So, stack is a, a data structure, uh, a linear data structure to be more specific, which follows the principle of uh, last in, first out. Okay. So, here uh, we focus more on how to implement uh, the stack principle. Uh, and implement the stack uh, using an array uh, array okay so in C okay so first let me launch the IDE so here I am using a visual C++ 2005 uh, access edition so which is a, a pretty old one uh, but I prefer uh, to use this one uh, because it's very lightweight and uh, it's very good to do for uh, minimal uh, programming uh, things okay so if you go to uh, Google launch your browser go to google.com and uh, if you type visual studio so if you type visual studio express okay so visual studio express so you get uh, the link uh, to the the more recent version so which is uh, visual studio uh, 2013 for uh, windows test or windows and windows desktop here, okay so this is the latest version uh, where you can uh, uh, download and install and do the latest version of Express Edition which supports all the uh, uh, C++ and C uh, programming languages. Okay. So uh, in my case, uh, so if you have a good resources and huge uh, uh, RAM and good uh, system hardware capability, so then you are uh, uh, welcome to use this one. So although um, since my system is very uh, little bit uh, older and and a bit ancient here, so I prefer to use uh, uh, this old version here. Okay, but it's always uh, good to go for doing a, a learning uh, minimalistic uh, program things. Okay, so first let me create a new project here. So file new project. Let's select the empty project uh, option there. Okay, and let's say uh, the name of our project as Tech Stacks. Okay, so whatever you want it. So and let's create a new uh, uh, .c file uh, to write our code and let's say let's select the code option and let's select, select the extension here. So although we don't use .cpp uh, since we are intended to do a C program here, so let's say a stack .c. Okay. So here you have a blank uh, uh, .c file uh, in our project. So first let us add our uh, couple of error files here. So hash include. So which are very essential and very basic things. Okay. So hash include su dot h, hash include uh, conio dot h. Okay. So let's add our main. Okay. So we are using a main here. So, okay. Or else let's keep it white uh, since it does not return anything here. And we have our main function here. Okay. So first let us uh, uh, define our uh, array uh, which we are going to use uh, uh, to stack. Uh, as a stack here okay so first let's say has defined and it's a macro i'm taking a macro here and let's say it has five let's keep it five element stack here and let's name our stack as in uh, stack of max here okay so here with this syntax this let's write a comment here stack array as a stack array five elements used as stack here okay so this is our stack declaration of an array so it's going to be of max size of five here okay let's add another comment also although not necessary so macro of five okay so whatever you wanted okay and let's uh, so we have taken an array so always uh, the stack consists of a top uh, variable so let's take top here okay so okay uh, we have taken a top variable to reference the topmost element of the stack and the stack itself is taken as an array here okay so next let us uh, when coming to the uh, our main section here so first let us initialize our top with minus one okay so initially top should be uh, minus one here okay so that means that uh, that indicates that uh, let's write a comment indicates that uh, stack is empty okay so this is a sign uh, or else uh, a thing which says that uh, the top is empty. So we are going to assume a top is the same as minus one uh, such that the stack is empty and this does not contain any elements here. Okay. 
So let's let us build uh, uh, some um, a menu here. Okay. So stack uh, stack consists of mainly uh, mainly two operations, which is a push and a pop. And also, uh, apart from that, uh, we have a display and a fun and a function a call to library function exit here. Okay. So for that, let's add a, a stdlib.h here. Okay. Since we are going to use uh, that stdlib uh, exit function here. Okay. So let's build a menu. Uh, let's say push for the first one. Okay. And let's say so printf slash and slash t and pop. Okay. So we are just building a menu. Uh, so such that uh, that that particular option uh, leads to that particular op uh, operation here. Okay. Let's say uh, display. Okay. And let's take another last and final operation. So call to a library function here. Slash and slash t uh, exit. Okay. So this is a menu. So uh, our intention uh, is to that the menu driven program should run until the user gives some uh, input to exit here. Okay. So for that reason, uh, we are keeping that uh, the whole menu in a do while loop here. Okay. So let's uh, okay. So we have just uh, built a menu. Also, let's put it a switch case here. Okay. So before do that, uh, let's have, let's, we have to scan the choice here for that purpose. I'm writing a. A small message here. So enter the choice. So when we run the program, we have a, a more clear idea. So what we are intended to do here. Okay. So I have just uh, entered the message, and I am using the scanner function to take the input. Uh, let's say choice here. Okay. So and also uh, before to that, let's declare a variable. Um, so let's say int ch here. Okay. Just to scan the choice, the number of the number which we are going to. Uh, or the option which we are going to uh, select whether one or two or okay so we had a uh, choice and i'm just placing that uh, choice inside a switch statement here okay so the switch statement should consist here of total uh, four cases okay since we have uh, four options here and uh, so one for push pop display and exit uh, let's build them also so case one uh, let's write directly break here okay so nothing should happen here and case two Okay, let's again say break. So in this uh, in this cases we need to write those uh, uh, functions. Okay, so which do the appropriate operation of uh, pushing or popping or displaying or getting out of the program using the library call exit. Okay, so just for uh, building the structure uh, switch case structure here, I am just using the break statement. Okay, so for the exit uh, since we are using the library call, we can directly write uh, function exit here. Okay, and also this need to have a break. And let's have a default case here so let's say so default let's say printf slash slash t wrong choice okay so if the user uh, does not enter any of these four options so, so ultimately he might he should lead to a wrong option here okay so wrong option here okay so we had just built our uh, uh, dummy uh, switch case structure and also i'm closing the uh, switch loop here Okay, I've just closed the uh, switch loop and I'm, I'm also closing the main function. So, uh, do while immediately uh, do loop should have a, a while loop here. I'm saying it as while ch not equal to 4 here. Okay, so until uh, the user does not uh, spend any, uh, does not give the option 4, his this menu uh, will work here. So, we have kept this in a do while loop here. Okay, so if you observe, we have kept this in a do while loop. Let's format the source once. It's looking a bit ugly here. Okay, so we have kept the entire thing in a do while loop here. Okay, so if you run your program using the F5 option here, we have an error. Okay, it says that a semicolon is missing somewhere. Let's run it once again. It says that. Uh, can we have the same semicolon here? What? Let's take a have missed somewhere a semicolon. Say so the line ten top is equal to minus one. In ch, the declared ch. So what is the problem?
problem with this int ch. We have declared the ch here. We have sign ch. Let's keep it in the top. Okay. Since we are using the c syntax here. Okay. So we are good to go here. Uh, we have a, a menu driven. Uh, we have just built a menu. So we have we haven't written uh, anything. I'm just in, increasing the font size here so that it could better, looks better here. Okay. So I have just uh, built a menu which does nothing. Just uh, if you press one, it does. It goes to that switch case, but nothing happens because uh, we haven't uh, written. If you press the four as choice, it gets quits out of the program here. Okay. So this uh, is just we have built uh, a dummy uh, structure here. Okay. So now our we have to write an appropriate uh, functions. So for each and every operation here. Okay. So the case the first option is uh, to push an element uh, into a stack here. Okay. So once again, uh, just showing. I need to just take a little bit uh, backup uh, such that my recording uh, will not hang up here. Okay. This is all. Uh, Visual stuff which I need to do uh, well in advance here. Excuse me, I'm sorry for this. Okay. Okay. So coming back to our ID. Uh, so here, uh, so we need to write uh, appropriate uh, functions uh, to perform those operations here. Okay. So we have just uh, built a menu structure here. So now uh, to call uh, when the user. Uh, takes option one some elements needed to be pushed in the stack here okay so to do that uh, let's write the wide uh, push function here okay the first function uh, in the stack uh, data structure is void push function so before uh, uh, pushing a function uh, pushing an element we need to take that element so i have just declared a variable here so int item so here let's write a, a small printf message here let's say slash and slash t mm. so enter the data item to be pushed okay so some uh, message so should get displayed there okay so i'm saying a scanf percentage t and percent item here okay so I've just scanned an item <coughs> and now what i'm doing is i'm just incrementing my top and i'm and i'm placing that uh, item uh, in the position of top here okay Stack of stack of top is equal to item. Okay. So this is the push operation, uh, very quite simple, and also uh, write another method uh, for uh, display function here, here. Okay. So just to check uh, the how far our uh, elements are being pushed in our uh, stack. Uh, so just I'm writing a display method, display function here. Okay. So display. So display uh, goes like this. Let's take a variable uh, for uh, looping here. So int i. <coughs> so for i is equal to zero. <coughs> so let's have a message printf slash and slash t. The elements. Okay. So the elements uh, in stack are. So again, I have a slash and slash and here a couple of times. Okay. So elements in the stack are so i is equal to top and i greater than or equal to zero and let's say i minus minus since we this a decrementing loop here let's have an uh, percentage t space percentage t and uh, stack of stack of i here okay since we are using a, a i as top okay so if you do something like this uh, you should uh, get the elements displayed here okay so if you run your program, you might get errors because uh, we haven't uh, used <coughs> uh, we haven't used the prototypes for our uh, functions here. Okay? So wide push and wide display are the two functions which we are using here. Let's put them here: wide uh, push, okay, and uh, wide uh, display, okay. So wide display. So I'm just adding the prototypes here. Let's try. If you want pushes an element. Uh, as you can say, to be more specific, you can say something like this adds an element uh, into the stack. Okay, so display displays display. Else, you can say displays the contents of the stack. Okay, 
So we have written uh, two functions. We have just added the prototypes and let's make a call uh, to that functions uh, in our case here. Okay. So if you don't call the function, as you know that uh, it's not going to work uh, anymore. It's finding a function is only useful when you make a call to that function. Now if you run your function uh, program, so again this undeclared identifier, it's saying as undeclared identifier where stack. Okay. My goodness, we are misspelled here. Okay, so now if you run your program, <coughs> you go to your output screen, select uh, one choice here. So it asks for us uh, to enter the data item to be pushed, it's automatically uh, in the push uh, function here. Okay, so we have uh, written a push function here, so it's automatically entered the control jump here. Okay, so as soon as you uh, pressed case one, selected one as an option, the control takes to the switch case option here, control jumps to this case one and calls the push function here okay so uh, in the push function we are intended to uh, take an input okay so that's what happening here let's let me add one here okay so in the same way uh, let me add uh, uh, five total five elements here okay so one and three one four one and five okay so I have, tele I have selected five times the option one and I have entered five elements here okay so now if you display uh, so you get all the elements displayed here, okay? So 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So you are getting in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 uh, uh, fashion because uh, the, as we know that uh, stack follows uh, the principle of uh, last in first out. Uh, so for that reason, the last element uh, goes in the stack, gets displayed first here, okay? So it gets retrieved first. For that reason, uh, we have got the last element which I entered is uh, Five here, okay. So again, uh, if you try to push, okay, takes, but this is a flaw here, okay. So now, if you see uh, display, so since our uh, stack consists of five elements, uh, it should not allow another element to add to our stack, okay. So this situation is known as uh, uh, overflow. So for that, uh, we need to add a couple of lines. Uh, I am just selecting the four option and getting out of it. So uh, in order to check. Uh, whether the stack is uh, growing uh, beyond the size, beyond the maximum size, we need to add a couple of uh, things here. Okay, so you need to say here. Uh, let's one second. Let's add a couple of times a slash t here. Okay, so you need to say uh, if you take an if condition here. Okay, so the if condition we need to say that if top is equal to uh, max minus one, okay? so top is equal to max minus one, you need to have a message. Let's say printf slash slash t stack stack overflow. Okay, so we are using this uh, stack overflow condition. Uh, there is a condition uh, stack overflow such which occurs when the if the stack goes uh, beyond uh, the size. Okay, beyond the maximum size, it should not. There should be some restriction of. Uh, uh, stopping the elements okay so for that purpose uh, we have added this uh, condition here okay so max minus one four okay so the last elements index is four since the index of array uh, starts from um, zero to four in a five element array so for that reason uh, here we have taken uh, uh, so this condition uh, evaluates like this okay top is equal to so max minus one okay let's take in caps only so max minus one so that uh, that implies uh, 4 is equal to so since max is 5 minus 1 so again that is equal to 4 here okay so that implies let's say 4 is equal to 4 okay so then that condition is true and then <coughs> the statement gets printed here okay so if, if not uh, if not that condition let's put it uh, remaining in else here okay so now uh, if you run your program once again so if you keep on uh, entering the elements using the push option here, okay. So four and five. And if now if you try to enter, so if you see the display, so you have uh, uh, five different elements. It's looking very ugly since we have used that uh, slash t option here. Okay, let's come out of it and let's first set that one. Should not use it a couple of times. Okay. Once you can uh, have some space here. Okay. Else once slash t, no slash t here, okay. So we keep it like that. Uh, let's say slash t, slash t, okay. So run your program. 
once again if you enter uh, five different uh, elements using your uh, push operation and if you check your display i have just entered the five different elements and i am just checking the uh, display here so we have five elements here which are five four three two one and now uh, since our stack is of comprises of five element stack we should not able to uh, perform the push operation okay so if you try to perform a push operation when the stack is full that means it consists of five elements it should lead to overflow condition okay so now if you try to push an element by selecting the option one which is push it says the message stack overflow okay so this is always should be kept in mind whenever you are trying to add a push function okay so this fulfills the condition whether the, uh, we have to check whether the stack is full or uh, not okay so there is no case in point uh, if you uh, try to add elements when the stack is full okay so in the same way um, so if we display you have the five elements here okay so in the same way let's write uh, the function uh, for the pop operation okay so the, the function for pop operation goes like this so white pop okay or else let's say uh, Okay, let's keep it white okay, okay. so here uh, first uh, before uh, uh, checking uh, whether so we need to check whether uh, the stack is uh, empty or not okay so first if there is no case in point uh, if you uh, try to um, uh, you cannot uh, retrieve an element when the stack is empty okay so that should lead to an underflow condition okay? so for that reason to catch that condition so I have added an uh, if condition here okay so top is equal to minus one the stack is empty and it should uh, show some message such that uh, let's say stack underflow here okay stack underflow okay so this is the condition which should be checked at the very beginning uh, before you write uh, the pop function here okay so i'm scrolling up and making some room for myself so now if it's not uh, if it's not that condition so what you have to do is let's take an item here or else let's take into data let's say data okay. just to store the element of the top of the stack that's what we need to retrieve okay let's say uh, data is equal to stack of top okay we are just retrieving the element from the top of the stack okay let's write a comment here okay taking an element from the top taking element from the top of the stack okay and now what we have what we need to do is as we have uh, so since the the pop operation uh, removes element uh, from the stack so ultimately uh, we need to decrement uh, the stack here okay the top of the stack here, okay so if we don't uh, do a decrement the top of the stack uh, it just shows that the stack the position of the stack need to be the top of the stack need to be updated okay so let's write a message here the deleted item so we need to just display the item which is being deleted here the deleted item is say percentage t and data okay so that's what we have uh, taken from the top of the stack here okay so this is let's put it the whole thing in else condition such that this does not break here okay and now if you run your program so first if you select the pop operation at the very beginning uh, since you don't have uh, any elements here uh, you need to get that message here okay so even though you are taking <laughs> so that didn't happen because uh, we haven't made a call here okay so in the case 2 so we need to make a call to our pop operation and also it's also best practice to add um, so white pop okay so prototype okay let's add a comment deletes an element let's say deletes an element from the stack okay so delete or retrieve whatever you wanted okay so delete or retrieve whatever you wanted you can say okay so if you run your program so if you select the pop operation so you need to get this message stack underflow okay so since the stack is empty we haven't put any elements here okay so if you uh, put uh, some elements by selecting the push operation 
So let me add five elements. Let me make the stack full here. Stack is overflow. The display you get the five elements. Perform the pop operation. The topmost element is getting a retrieved. Okay. So now if you perform the display operation, so you get just uh, the remaining four elements here. Okay. So if you keep on uh, popping the elements at one stage, you get the stack under flow condition. Okay. Since there are no elements in the stack here, okay. So now if you select uh, display, so also uh, the display function uh, needs some a small addition here, okay. Such that, okay. Let's write a comment here condition to check whether the stack is empty, okay. So the display, uh, so before displaying the elements, uh, you need to check that whether there are any elements in the stack or not. For that purpose also, let's use this top is equal to minus one condition, okay. So you can have a message here, printf, such as last thing, the stack is empty, okay. So we not say stack is underflow, so since this is a display function here, okay. Let's say condition and the rest of the things let's put it in else fun else case okay, if not if this should get executed okay so run your program set display stack is empty okay it's so perfect let's add some elements four and five and six and seven Okay, so we have our uh, all the elements filled with our stack. If you say once more, say stack overflow. We delete the item, couple of items, and if you check the display operation, the remaining elements are getting displayed. Okay, so this is the way uh, you need to code uh, your uh, stack uh, data structure in C. Okay, so to summarize once again, uh, so let me reduce the uh, font size here so that the program fits in you know, one <laughs> even though it looks a very uh, small thing let's reduce this font size 15 to 10 okay so here we have the entire program which we have just coded here okay so this section we have uh, defined a stack here uh, a stack of five elements uh, so this is the maximum element five here okay max we have used this uh, has defined a macro and next we have uh, the prototypes of various functions which we are going to use here okay so top is very important okay so the top to know the position to know the topmost position of the stack okay so let's set our comments in a in orderly manner here, okay and next we have uh, and next we have uh, the main function here so we have just taken a menu uh, just to display uh, to give us in a format of menu the various operations which we are going to perform and we have just our definitions uh, for push pop and display okay so before uh, pushing an element uh, you need to check whether uh, uh, your stack is uh, full or not here okay so condition uh, so this makes check whether the stack is full okay so using this condition uh, uh, check whether the stack is full okay. if top is equal to stack top is equal to max minus one that means top is equal to four uh, top topmost position is four and if it's equal to the one less than the maximum size of a stack so that condition leads to the stack overflow okay so this this condition uh, and when coming to the pop uh, function uh, this condition is to first before popping you need to check whether the stack is empty or not okay if it's empty there is no case in point of uh, uh, deleting an element from the stack okay so then we have our uh, uh, display uh, function which sole purpose in life is to display the uh, contents of the stack okay so this is the basic stuff about uh, uh, programming a stack linear data structure in c okay so see you in the next session goodbye